Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, how are you? If you are coming back, thank you so much for coming back. I just want to let you know that all of my socials are in the description, my Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, Redbubble, and Coffee if you would like to support this channel. Also, I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications if you would like to see more LGBTQ plus content from this space right here. So let's get into the video. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about five signs that you might be non-binary. I am actually non-binary. My pronouns are they, them. I've been out as some form of non-binary since I was 19. I first identified as gender fluid and then when I was about 21, 22 started using the term non-binary because that felt more right to me. This video is going to be for anyone who's questioning their gender or just looking to see non-binary people experience and signs that they might be non-binary. So let's get into it. So the first sign that you might be non-binary is that you aren't comfortable with he, him or she, her pronouns. I know this was something that caught me off guard a little bit, especially when I was coming out because I've never had that real connection with womanhood and being called she her was always kind of an apathetic experience for me. I was like, oh, I don't feel comfortable with he him pronouns. I guess she her pronouns are the best that's ever gonna get. That's what I dealt with for the first 18, 19 years of my life. And then when I found out that they them was an option, at first I was like, oh, that's weird because, you know, internalized envy phobia. But then when I slowly realized that I am non-binary, and those are the pronouns that fit me the best. I never looked back really honestly. I did use all pronouns at one point and there are certain situations and days and dysphoria levels where I am comfortable being called he, him, or she, her, but for the most part, they, them is just my standard because it's what I'm most comfortable with. Not being comfortable with he, him, or she, her is a really good sign that you might be non-binary. The second sign is that you overanalyze your body to all hell. Now, I know this is not something that is specifically just for non-binary people. I know that there are people with body dysmorphia that do this as well. So I would also look into that if you have those kind of issues. But for me, I know that when I was younger and looking in the mirror, I could not see myself as soon as I started going through puberty and getting a chest and getting hips and looking just more feminine in my body, I would spend hours, hours a day looking in the mirror, trying to figure out what was wrong and trying to fix how my body looked and trying to make myself look more neutral. And it's really hard. It's a really hard thing. And I didn't realize what I was doing at the time. And it actually genuinely did take me a while to figure out that's what was happening. I was trying to find myself in my reflection and it's something that I don't know a whole lot of people that talk about just not being able to connect with yourself and it's scary and it's hard and you don't know whether or not anyone else feels that way. Honestly it's one of the biggest signs that I should have known that I wasn't cis because I would stand there and try to like flatten my chest, get rid of my hips, make myself look as neutral as possible because I didn't want to be perceived as a woman. I didn't want anyone to see me that way. I just wanted people to see me and that was all. So that might be a sign that you are non-binary. The third sign is that you feel like your assigned gender at birth is playing dress up. This was also something that I did when I was younger. I remember specifically when I was like 17 or 18 when prom season would show up, I would go into the mall and just dress up in prom dresses to like somehow feel like I connected to womanhood and I was like, yeah, this is something women do. Sometimes it really would make me feel better and I'd be like, oh, this feels right. And then other times it would just make me feel so bad about myself because when I would look in the mirror and see a dress on me, I would be like, this feels like dress up. This feels incorrect. This doesn't feel right. Honestly, I feel like a lot of my teenagehood was that way. I don't think I was ever a super feminine person, but I definitely did play up femininity a whole lot more than I do now. And there are days when I don't mind dressing femininely, but it's more in a neutral person kind of way than someone trying to fit themselves into womanhood and failing miserably. <laughs> the fourth sign that you might might be non-binary is you just want to be seen as you. So this was should have been a really big sign for me looking back on it. Again, I love those childhood signs that I was non-binary. In the religion that 
I grew up in, gender is a really big thing. It's very much man is man, woman is woman. So when you're younger, they split you off into young men's or young women's. And I just remember being taught about all these woman roles that I would eventually have to go into and how uncomfortable that made me. Whenever anyone was like, oh, you're turning into such a beautiful young woman or blah, blah, blah. Or even if you asked me about myself, I would always just describe when I grow up, I want to be me. That's all I would say. Like, I just want to be myself. I never really was like, oh yeah, I want to be a woman. That's something that I want to do. It just was something that I thought was innate and that everyone was like, oh, I just want to be myself. I don't want to be seen as this feminine goddessy thing. There was a very stark disconnection for me wanting to be you and being perceived as who you are and your essence and not wanting those binary rigid gender roles placed on you is a really good indication that you might be non-binary. And the fifth and final sign that you might be non-binary is this video <laughs> questioning whether or not you're non-binary is a really good sign that you might be non-binary listen listen to me cis people rarely i'm not gonna say all cis people because generalization but cis people rarely question their gender which i didn't know i had no idea i didn't know that i personally believe that questioning is a really important thing that everyone does in general i know i question myself every few months just to check in and make sure that the labels that i use i still identify with and see if anything has changed or not but questioning whether or not you're non-binary pretty pretty big giveaway that you might be non-binary. <laughs> okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed those five signs that you might be non-binary. If you have any other things that helped you discover you were non-binary, leave a comment below, let me know. And if you want to see more non-binary content, also let me know what you would like to see more of as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. Bye.